Hi, my name is Corinne and this is my first video and um, I just thought it would be appropriate to do it on my first wig that I bought. I decided to start a YouTube channel because I have been in the world of wigs for about a year now and I've learned a lot and I want to share it with other people and I want to help people see what wigs look like on different people, different skin tones. The more the merrier. Watching my videos alone isn't going to be as helpful as just adding it to your plethora of options to choose from. So with that, I figured I would start into how I decided to start wearing wigs. I've always had less than optimal hair. Um, it was always more on the finer side and I never could do as much with it as other people could. So that had always been a struggle. It was really hard for me to always feel confident with my hair. So as I was pregnant with my fourth baby, I started realizing that I needed to start thinking about what I was going to do with my thin hair because I had just had a baby. My two youngest were about a year and a half apart and my hair was still growing back from the other baby and it was just wispy looking and short and different lengths and I remember even when I was losing it and trying to use extensions to help it look thicker you know there's a period where you could see my scalp and it was shiny and then as it was growing out even people I worked with and my patients were like oh hey I can see your hair growing out because it was pokey and everything on top and it just it was just ridiculous and it was really hard for me to just feel confident about myself because of my hair being so thin so I had worked with a gal who I don't know what it was but all of a sudden I just started thinking about wigs and there was a girl that I was working with I just met her and I had asked her like can I ask you a question I was like are you wearing a wig and or I asked her what she thought about wigs, something like that. And so we started talking more and more and more. And um, she sent me some links and she was African-American. So a lot of the websites she had were all black human hair and dark brown. And it was just hard to find wigs that worked for me. But that opened the door more or less. So I began looking more and more into wigs and different websites and that opened up Pandora's box of wigs and I was I didn't want anyone to know I was still super embarrassed and shy about it and I didn't even want to go to a wig store so I spent hours and hours trying to look online to see what color I liked there's lots that I wanted to try but I was like well I can't just all of a sudden have what I call poopy brown hair, and then all of a sudden be a redhead. I was like, that'd be too much, so I need to try and ease into it. But I still was trying to lean towards more blondes and more reds. Uh, I just couldn't make up my mind, there's too many. And I was like, well, I have to pick a color and stick to it, because that's the color I'm gonna wear, because I don't want people to know. Um, there was a color, I was looking at Raquel Welch. I thought she was a hot gal, so um, I was like, I'll try her. Uh, her brand and I was looking at longer ones. I was like, well shorter would be easier but I was like, but I want long hair. I can just tell people I got extensions So um, I was looking at her brand. I was looking at like miles of style scene stealer Which is a heat synthetic and longing for long Those are the ones I kind of narrowed it down to and then I wanted to choose glazed strawberries I thought it looked beautiful or um, honey ginger. Those were the two I had narrowed it down to. So I finally was like, okay, I'm gonna go to a wig store, I'm just gonna do it. And I had the worst anxiety ever. But I did it. I didn't want anyone else in the store because I just, I hated looking at my hair. But um, I went there and they let me try on different colors. I looked at the glazed strawberry and at the time I was like, oh my gosh, that's way too red. No, not at all. So I did like the honey ginger. And so that's what I ended up getting. So this was Raquel Welch's, um, I think it was Longing for Long, and I got it in Honey Ginger. And um, now I'm gonna be honest, this, I bought this close to a year ago, but um, this was my first wig. 
and you know at first it was just it was too much but I was like you know what I was like I'm gonna wear it to work but I, I wore it up I used um, headbands like this I bought I had a bunch of them on eBay different styles and everything and I bought these on eBay and I would have them on my head and I would have my hair up because I just wasn't used to it yet so that helped a lot people were some people didn't even notice but anyone would tell people one person I was like oh it's a wig I was like yeah I love it and I just I don't know I I'm really bad at lying so I didn't want to tell people I didn't just go out and tell everyone but one person was like oh your hair looks really good and I was like oh it's a wig but I didn't I don't know I, I couldn't keep make up my mind at the time what I wanted to do but um having it up with like a hairband around helped me a lot and in fact that's what I did for the first like three or four months of um, wearing a wig so that I could ease into the transition and I just as I got used to myself with thicker hair because it is hard it's hard for everyone no one can just put a wig on and be like oh this is totally fine I'm moving on with my life it's it's a very um, it's a psychological process believe it or not so anyways that's what I did to help me Initially wearing a wig was was itchy and I couldn't figure out what worked. There's these um, wig grips I don't even have that anymore. There's uh, wig grips that people use and that way you don't have to You know use glue or anything. Um, I watched a lot of um, a lot of uh, like black girls my um, uh, Their videos about wigs and everything and so that helped a lot that was a realm of how to customize your own wig and then there's the the, the white girls wigs um, world of wigs where everything's like pre-made so we don't have to do very much to it. So I watched lots of different videos and everything and um, there's different ways you can keep a wig on. At first I tried the wig grip and I just, it wouldn't stay on my head. I don't know, my head's deformed or flat or whatever, but it couldn't stand so it would slide. And because it was sliding, it was itchy. And I was always going into the bathroom on my break to itch my head. And I swear at first I was like, I must have allergic reaction. I can't do this. I can't do this. And this is very common for people. You feel itchy. You're like, I know I have an allergic reaction. I'm going to have to wear human wigs. But you keep, you know, I just, I kept that. I was like, no, I was like, I want to wear wigs. I was like, I hate my hair. This is a new world for me. This is going to how it's, this is how it's going to have to be. And it was very anxiety driven every day. I was like, oh my gosh, a wig. Like I had so much anxiety with trying to get used to wigs. So don't feel alone if that's how you feel. It's very normal to feel that way when you're trying to get used to wearing a wig. It's itchy, you're, you think everybody knows. And um, I just, then then that's exactly how I felt. And I, I just, it was lots of anxiety. I just did not know how to handle it. And then I, um, I tried uh, the, the, the yellow bottle of Gotta Be Glue and then let it dry enough so I'd stick my wig on and it would slide everywhere and it was just, I couldn't deal with it, it'd be itchy and I kept trying to fix it even though by the time it did dry my wig was sliding so it just looked all weird and luckily I had a headband to help cover it up. But, um, and then I would also try It Stays which is like a little, it looks like deodorant and you kind of roll it on your head and that stuff works great but you have to let it dry first. So you just stick it on right away, your wig will slide. So just that's, you know, a little tip when it comes to that. So it took, you know, it took time. It took at least like six, seven months for me to figure out wigs and, and what I wanted and, and how to make it work for me. Because what works for one person doesn't work for the other person. So I learned that um, it stays is what I, I like. Now, if I'm gonna be doing something hot and sweaty, then I need to use um, Gotta Be Glue. And that way it just keeps it planted on firmer because it stays will loosen up if you're sweating a lot. So anyways, this was my first wig. I um, I just, I couldn't get used to the hairline. The hairline is the biggest thing for people. And I had cut this one, I'd cut this one to death. Um, I, I even had like the wig people, um, the wig boutique um, thing this out for me. And I was like, it's just way too thick. And it was still just hard to um, get used to and I kept just messing with the hairline. I just kept messing with the hairline. And um, then I was like, okay, I just can't handle it. I even tried like with this parting, I tried all sorts of different things. I even put um, latex on it so that it would look like scalp and that was a giant disaster. Don't even try it, don't try it. Latex, liquid latex will not make it look like scalp. It'll look like you have some sort of weird disease on your head. But I even tried that. And at that point, this wig was pretty much toast. I was like, well, let me try and put bangs in it. I was saving, I was trying to figure out what kind of wig I wanted next. 
And in the meantime, I messed with this one. I added bangs and like, I don't know, they're, they're okay, I guess. But I added bangs and, um, and that, I felt like that had helped. And um, a lot of people will add bangs to their wigs. But now that I'm used to wigs, I look at the hairline and I'm like, yeah, it's really, it's not that bad. It actually, it's really good. And the only people that really can tell the difference are people who wear wigs. But most people had no idea um, that I was wearing a wig. You think they are because you they're looking at you and you can tell they're like they're like looking up and looking at you while you're talking, looking up and they don't always know. Sometimes we're just more paranoid about it than others. But um, yeah, so this this was my first wig, but it really you know it's totally destroyed now. Um, at least in my eyes. I mean, you could probably restore it, and I did put some things on it, but I've moved on. i moved on to other wigs. But um, this, you know, this was the one that really helped me get used to the world of wigs, and um, I just thought I would share it in my first video. And um, this is the color Honey Ginger, if anyone's curious. It's more of like a summer, a summer blonde, I think. Um, and uh, you know, it's pretty long. It goes all the way down to like right above your boobs. And um, orig originally I didn't have bangs. So, um, but yeah, it actually um, doesn't look that bad with bangs. And sometimes you can do that, but that helps you as you get used to wigs and the hairline. Um, anyways, I am excited for anybody that actually watches this video. And I just wanted to kind of share my journey in the beginning of me wearing wigs to let you know that you're not alone and that it is a process and it takes time. And thank you for watching and there will definitely be more videos to come because I just want to help other people in the wig world. Thank you and have a really good day. Bye!